Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. Cancer, this is your monthly reading for June 2021. Um, Cancer, the messages that I got for you is um, secrets may be revealed this month. This can be secrets about you, or somebody else could be revealing a secret to you. But I'm getting you should resist the urge to make assumptions and react um, and to react without having all the facts. So what I'm saying is say like someone revealed a secret to you about somebody else. Instead of being impulsive and the secret might be something negative or the rumor could be something negative. But instead of you jumping to conclusions, you should be approach the matter differently. So, for example, um, say like if somebody come and tell you something and about somebody else and it's something you don't like, instead of becoming that person's enemy, you should try to find out if the secret is true, if the rumor is true, instead of coming, um, jumping to assumptions. Because I got the moon in reverse and the knight of swords. So that's like a secret being revealed to you or about you. And it's like you jump in your car and go confront somebody and start a whole fight. Something like that. Instead of remaining calm. Um, you should avoid that Knight of Swords energy. The Knight of Swords is very aggressive. The Knight of Swords is very violent. And a, a Knight of Swords will attack you. <clears throat> the Knight of Swords never have all the information. He never have all the information. So, when this secret is revealed about you or is revealed to you, you should keep your cool. Keep your cool and take a different approach. And your first card out was the King of Swords. So you probably got to get in the King of Swords energy. Um, the King of Swords, instead of being the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords is very impulsive and a little bit more immature. He's not as mature as the King of Swords. So you might want to uh, approach the situation as a king. Um, the King of Swords is going to make a decision off of facts. The Knight of Swords, he, not, he ain't no facts. He don't never have all the facts. But the king of swords, he get facts. Then he make a decision. So that was your first card out. Um, on the initial shuffle, the pre-shuffle, the moon in reverse flew out. And the knight of swords flew out. So when I got finished shuffling, you know, I, the cards put out and the king of swords came out. So it's like, I'm, I'm thinking in my mind, okay, cool. Cancer need to be in, with king of swords energy, not that knight. Because the Knight of Swords is impulsive. Um, uh, so, y'all first card out is... I mean, not y'all first card out, but y'all Oracle and what's crowning your energy is um, Castle. And it say, it's time for healing, not war. And I don't think that's a coincidence that this is y'all Oracle and this is crowning your energy. In the cards that was coming out during the pre-shuffle. And like I said, the cards that came out was the moon in reverse. So that secret's being revealed and then the knight of swords. So to me, that's like a secret being revealed involuntarily and somebody just reacts. And Cancer, that could be you and that knight of swords energy. Or somebody approach you like the knight of swords and you got to keep your cool so it won't be a clash. So either Cancer, you're tempted to approach somebody or something like the Knight of Swords, or somebody approaches you like the Knight of Swords. So it's like you can't, this is not the time to fight fire with fire. That's what I'm getting. Um, because I've heard, I don't know, I didn't do my own research on it, but I'm hearing that Saturn, I'm hearing that retrograde is in... Saturn is in Aquarius, something like that. And I heard with that energy that karma comes swiftly, like immediately, and is very harsh. 
when um Saturn is in Aquarius. And I think retrograde or something like that going on. So that also came to my mind too when I seen y'all energy and I was pre-shuffling. You know, just um watching other readers. I didn't do my own research on it, but just what you know, being on YouTube and listening to other readers, I think Saturn is an Aquarius. And then on top of that, we in retrograde. So it's like I've heard that when Saturn is in Aquarius, karma is very it is very cruel. Like it's very extra, it's very intense. So you don't want to be on the wrong side of karma. You want to do what's right. Um, doing these planetary alignments and, you know, was that whatever's going on within the planets. But I think I might look that up for myself. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, I think I heard one reader say Saturn was in Aquarius. And, um, that's when, like, karma is, like, more intense and is more, it happens more quicker. Karma and people reaping justice and things like that. So, y'all first card out, Cancer, was the King of Swords. Ooh. Cancer, this could be you or somebody else. This King of Swords can be somebody ex. This King of Swords can be somebody lawyer, a doctor, a surgeon. Or the King of Swords can be you. But the King of Swords is very mature concerning his decision making. This King of Swords make decision off of facts. He he don't make decision off of his emotions. This is someone who's who also makes a head over heart decision. A head over heart. A logical decision, not an emotional decision. What clarified the King of Swords was the Two of Pentacles. Um, also, as well, what I got from this energy. Um, cancer, whether you're a male or female, a mother or a father. Well, I, the, the energy I initially got from this was cancer, whether you a mother or a father, your child, whether it's a juvenile child, a minor child or an adult child, your child could be going through like a court case and they could be a juvenile, a juvenile, but your child is like not taking heed to the, what that judge said and it, and it could come back and bite them immediately and very harshly. So, this two of pentacles could be your child. Your child can be like an earth sign, a Capricorn towards a Virgo. And it's like your child, they, like, whatever. That two of pentacles, um, they think that the justice system is playing games or whatever. Not listening to what that judge said. You should let that child know to whatever this judge, the order that this judge given out to this child, he should take it. He shouldn't take it lightly. That's what I'm getting. Like, this King of Swords can be a judge, and, like, that's your child. And it's like, this child is playing, like, Russian roulette with their freedom, not listening to this judge. Something like that. Because it's like the next time that judge might try to throw the book at him. Yeah. So, that's initially what I picked up, like, a rebellious child and that Two of Swords energy, that Two of Pentacles. So, anyway, when I asked for more information about the King of Swords, the Three of Swords in Reverse came out. So, this Three of Swords in Reverse can be someone healing from some type of heartbreak, whether in work, love, or life. Or this is someone who is, like, inconsolable. This is someone who is heartbroken and is, like, they not coming up out that energy no time soon. It's, like, someone who is inconsolable. Three of Swords in Reverse. What well, clarified the Three of Swords in reverse was the Nine of Swords. So, this is someone who cannot sleep. They have a nightmares. They can't think. They can't eat. This could also be a guilty conscience. Someone who stay up at night, they can't sleep. Something going on mentally. So... Cancer, I don't know. Cancer, you could be the child. You could be an adult child watching tarot on this whatever. Or somebody could be cross-watching on the Cancer video. Clarify the King of Swords. Ooh. Oh, four came out. Okay. So the month of October came out. Vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. 
caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Dissatisfaction with life. This could very well be a court case. I'm going to see. Clarify the three of swords in reverse. What's going on with the three of swords in reverse? Okay. So, the month of July flew out. <clears throat> so, king of swords. Is this cancer? Is this cancer? Yes, let me know. Yeah. Um, two of pentacles. Is this a child? This two of pentacles. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, cancer. You this king of swords. Is let me know you this king of swords. You could be the law, like in your home. You can be the law. You probably in this king of swords energy. Your child could be acting up. Your child could be bipolar or they just being hard-headed. That two of pentacles. Um, but you're either cancer, whether you a male or female, you and your, your child could be acting up because you and your spouse is like divorced. Because the king of swords can also be like somebody's ex. So your child can be being rebellious, could be an earth sign child because you and your person is split up. That's what I'm getting. Um, I don't know why I always pick up kids. And it be Cancer and Gemini readings. But it just came to me that Cancer, y'all sign, y'all very family oriented. Y'all very family oriented. So I'm not going to say I don't know why. But y'all, you guys, y'all heavy on family. And making memories and family legacy. Y'all don't play about y'all family. So, yeah. So, Cancer, you king of swords. I don't know if a rumor come out or a secret be revealed to you about your child. Or your child hears some type of secret or a rumor about you. And it could be that you and your wife or husband is splitting up. But let me see. October, the month of October. Is this past October? Is this past October? No. Okay, so something's coming up in October. Um. So I'm getting cancer in June. You might have to... I don't know. You might kick this child out. You might like make them make them leave your home, or you you're going to tell your child some type of truth that they might not like. So, Cancer in June, you're gonna get in this King of Swords energy, and you might either give your child a strict, stern ultimatum, make a head over heart decision to make your child leave your home, get off your property, or you're gonna tell your child something that they're not gonna like. And in October, because it's like you standing your ground. It's like you standing your ground, make a head over heart decision. And it's like your child, whoever this, this two of pentacles, it told me it was a child. But it's like they're going to turn their back on you. They could become rebellious. They could leave. Or this is you telling them to get out. It could be an adult child. It don't have to be a minor. But whatever you do and say in the King of Swords energy in June... In October, something's going to happen regarding what you do in June. And this vulture, this vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. I don't know if this could be your child or you. Vulture, is this cancer? Yeah, yeah. So something you're going to do and say to your child um, cancer in, in June, something's going to happen in October and you're going to be depressed and have anxiety and worry that your child is coming up against you. Or this could also be them there. They might become rebellious and it's like, it could be, get, it could become, it could get out of hand in October. Cause I don't think you worry that your child is against you. It could just them be, they're being rebellious. So in October, it's going to get very intense for you. 
Because it's something you do to this child or say to this child in June that I don't think they're going to like. Um, But you, this caterpillar is telling you things will not always be this way. A change is coming regarding dissatisfaction with life. This either your child being dissatisfied with life because of a decision you made or you being dissatisfied with life because your child is like being rebellious against your authority, against your ruling. Because I'm getting cancer, whatever you say to them in June, you stand in your ground. And if you got to take that sword <laughs> and, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You standing your ground. It's like you the law. You, you're the law. The king of your castle. The king or queen of your castle. Yeah. So. That three of swords in reverse. Three of swords in reverse. Is this cancer? Is this cancer? Yeah. Cancer, you call judgment on this child. You didn't want to do it. I don't know what this child is doing. You didn't want to do this, Cancer, but you had to for the betterment of your child and you. But you didn't want to do this to your child, but you had to. You had to stand your ground, be the adult, because the king of swords is not immature. I don't know. You could have been the one to heard a rumor about your child, and you found out it was true, and you got in this king of swords energy. A secret could have been revealed about your child. Um... Yeah, but this is you. You're, you didn't want to do this, but you did. Like, you can't sleep. You could have You could have made your child leave the home. You could have made them leave. It could be an adult child. Um, like a young adult. Um, you are almost inconsolable. It's like around your child, you this king of swords. But it's like when you go in your room and close that door, cancer, you probably be crying. You did not want to do this to your child. And it's like, you kind of got a guilty conscience. You you probably got a guilty conscience. Um, July. Is this past July? Is this past July? July coming up? July. This July coming up. The month of July. What I'm getting, Cancer, you going to lay down a law pertaining a child in June. You might not see your child until probably like October. So it's like you make them leave or they run away or whatever. You do what you got to do in June. Then you got Ju June. And then we got July. So it's like, even though you had to lay down a law in your home, probably for the remainder of June and probably all July, you don't, you probably don't see your child. Like they probably don't come visit you. They probably blocked you. They probably, you probably can't call their phone. So it's like, you like inconsolable. So if this is an adult child, um, I don't know, Cancer, if your child can be on drugs or they be stealing from you or you could have other children and they bring in bad influence into the home and you make this adult child leave. But it's like they probably don't come back around. You probably haven't seen them for the whole month of June after you said what you said to them. And like I said, this is you in the month of July. In the month of July. Yep, you in your bedroom, you close that door and you just be crying. Um, especially if you're a female, you probably be crying, not sure if you getting in that King of Swords energy was the right thing to do. You missing your child, they not answering the phone, you don't know where they at. Think that's that's what's gonna be going on with you in July. Yep. Um Yeah, so Something going to go down around your home front with your children or your child in June. It's going to get a little bit more intense in July. And then in October, it's going to be, it's going to get rougher. It's going to be rough. Um, But the card is reassuring you 
cancer that you did the right thing. Because it say things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So this is a caterpillar. And caterpillar turns into, it's not shocking that at the top, I'm going to get to the top, but this is a butterfly. So you laying down a law in, in being the adult, being the parent. Cause you know how that saying go, this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. Cancer, that's what this, that's what this is. And this don't only got to be a child. It told me a child, but this could be like a lover. One of your lovers immature, cheating on you, playing you like you an idiot and you had to kick him out. They juggling you. Yeah. And it hurted you more, more than it hurted them. Like you didn't want to do that, but you did. Um... But things is not always going to be this way. So you're going to suffer a little bit for doing the right thing, Cancer. You're suffering for doing the right thing until October and November. That's what I'm getting. Because in October, it's going to get a little bit more intense. And then you're going to start, then that depression, anxiety going to kick in. But that caterpillar is telling you things are not always going to be this way. A change is coming. Yup. So, <clears throat> I get to the top, and I'm going to read y'all oracle. It say castle. It's time for healing, not war. So, if this is a child, or this is like an immature lover, don't fight fire with fire. Don't get on this person level, cancer. It's time for healing, not war. You and this person probably don't get along under the same roof. So somebody got to go. So it can be healing in the household. Something like that could be going on. Somebody got to go, Cancer, and it ain't going to be you. It's this person in that two of pentacles energy. Whether it's a lover juggling you or it's a child. Um, Castle, it's time for healing, not war. Don't burn something down to the ground unless you have a plan to build something better in its place. But it's too late for that, isn't it? You got angry, you pointed fingers, you called for war, and war was exactly what you got. Now that it's time for healing and reparations, reparations, what's your plan? You need to take the same initiative and determination you had when this started and figure it out. Never neglect your intuition. I'm going to read that again. Don't burn something down to the ground unless you have a plan to build something better in its place. But it's too late for that, isn't it? You got angry, you pointed fingers, you called for war, and war was exactly what you got. Now that it's time for healing, what's your plan? You need to take the, the same initiative and determination you had when this started and figure it out. Never neglect your intuition. And Cancer, you water, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, that's intuition. Um, yeah, so what clarified your oracle was this Five of Wands. So Cancer, this could be you and your child, you are uproar in your home, your home front. Um, this could be, if this is about a lover, this could be the competition. This could be you have an internal conflict. Five of Wands. This is conflict and or competition. I don't know. This could be a siblings fighting your kids acting up. I don't know if that Five of Wands is. Well, clarify the Five of Wands was this Ace of Pentacles. So this is a solid, stable offer. This is uh, Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. When I ask for more information about your Oracle Castle, judgment came out. And that's why I said what I said a few minutes ago. Caterp you got Caterpillar down here. Don't, don't worry. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. And then we get to the top and we got the butterfly. So this is the change right here, I think. This is judgment. Um, this could be the universe calling judgment on a situation. Your situation, Cancer. This could be you calling judgment on a situation. 
Um, this could be you giving somebody else a second chance, but it's judgment. And whatever this is, it's the change that this caterpillar was talking about. And we're going to see. What clarified judgment was the Ace of Wands. So this is a passionate new beginning. So this is a passionate new beginning with a lover who is juggling you. This Ace of Wands could be some makeup sex cancer. You take them back. You could probably take them back. Or this if this is a lover cancer I'm getting, y'all might have some makeup sex, some good makeup sex. But it's like I'm getting cancer. You learn in balance in June. So it's like, even if you kick your person out, you might let them come over or whatever, or y'all get up and give them some, but you still not going to let them come back home. Not yet. Something like that. I'm getting you learning balance because I'm getting whoever this person is in this two of pentacles, they not supposed to be under the same roof as you until they get themselves together. Y'all can't live together. So this could be a child or a lover. Um... So it's like, like I said, Cancer, if this is a lover juggling you, y'all not supposed to be living together till this person grow up. But there's nothing wrong with, you know, giving them some from time to time, whatever. Some makeup sex. But I'm getting, if this is a lover, you're learning how to still be with them, but y'all don't have to live together. Y'all can get up here and there, go to a room, whatever, and just whatever. But I'm getting y'all living together is not good. So it's like you calling judgment on a situation. You know, you'll still get up with them. Fulfill, you know, satisfy y'all needs, desires. Or you just use this person as like a, 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 a butt buddy. That's your passionate new beginning. But y'all not living together? Mm -mm. If this is a child... It's some type of passion new beginning. And I think you're going to you're gonna call judgment or the universe is going to call judgment. Because somebody was cutting up fighting. There was some competition, conflict, competition. Um, clarify the five of wands. Yeah, problems to be resolved. Problems to be resolved. Mm-hmm. Judgment. Clarify judgment. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So it say, be careful. Do not take risk. And then not unsuccessful plans. And then getting together with friends. So... Let me see. I'm getting two scenarios. This two of pentacles could be a, a immature lover, an unawakened divine masculine or divine feminine. This could be a karmic lover, or this is a child. Um, If this is a lover, unawakened divine masculine or divine feminine or karmic lover, this person was juggling you cancer in your face. If this is a child, this child is just, rebellious nasty attitude rebellious possibly even bipolar or something um but somebody should not be taking risk somebody shouldn't have took some type of risk whatever risk they took their plans was unsuccessful because somebody was getting together with friends so um in june Cancer, I think you're going to cause, cause judgment. If this is a child, your child was getting together with friends that probably wasn't no good for them. I don't know if your child could have relapsed on some drugs. I don't know if these friends got your child in trouble. But somebody took a risk. If this is a lover, this is them like getting together with friends. And this it could be of the opposite sex, cheating on you. They could have went somewhere and had a threesome. This two dog.